Reddit uh, finally go public last week, the company's S1, and it announced that uh, some Reddit moderators and users are going to have the opportunity to participate in the listing through a directed share program. And Redditor's participation is listed among the company's risk factors at the same time, saying it could result in increased volatility in the market price. Joining us right now to discuss this is Tasty Live CEO Tom Sosnoff. He's a shareholder in Reddit, having invested through the secondary market last summer. Good morning to you. As you hey, read through the S1, what do you think? I I kind of felt like Reddit is one of those companies that is going to do better as a public company. I think they've been private for a little too long, and I think as a public company, they're going to get kind of that, you know, that kind of kick in the butt that they need to uh, maybe turn the corner towards profitability. That's that's you know, that, spoken like a spoken like a shareholder. Spoken like a shareholder. What do you think would be the inflection point? I mean, there, it is true. There's a company 19 years old. You could you just it's not a startup. But it's a very mature company for 19. Right. I mean, it's 19 years old, still not profitable. So what does that say? I, I don't think you know. I mean, they've obviously raised a lot of money. They they they're not profitable, but they've been able to survive and thrive. I mean, their user base is massive. Um, and they have a really strong demographic, like a monetizable demographic. That's what I like about Reddit. Um, I just think it's one of those companies that that, you know, needs that that kind of needs to go to the next level. And I think taking them public will force them almost force their hand to learn how to be profitable. I mean, they have enough users. Right. They should be profitable. What do you think about the correlation and connection and maybe risk factor at the same time uh, to Google? Uh, they made a, a partnership with Google. That's going to be a training uh, for AI purposes on their data, for example. That's just one example of it. But uh, a good portion of their traffic, it seems, comes from Google. Now, a good portion, a lot of folks' traffic comes from Google, but uh, potentially disproportionately so in this case or no? Um, potentially, it's a little bit it's a little bit off from some of the, you know, it's a little bit higher percentage. But I don't look at, just like you said, so many people rely on Google and so many companies rely on Google. I don't think that's going to be the issue with Reddit. I think Reddit's got to fight off kind of their, their own demons. And I mean, it's just that they have, again, they have such a strong demographic and it is, and it and you can monetize that demographic. It's kind of the perfect millennial. They have this certain trust factor with millennials that is incredibly strong. And in the world of finance, too, they have a little bit of an edge, I feel like, over, you know, over other social media sites in the or other over other social media companies in the same space. So I kind of like them, you know, in that regard. What do you think about the prospect of of, of certain moderators and users buying in? There's three classes yeah. of shares. Let's talk about that. Um, I, that I mean, worked some, some, for some people, that's worked. I'm thinking of Airbnb and a couple of the other uh, companies that have done similar kinds of things. But it hasn't always worked. You look at Robinhood's another example. I, I mean, personally, I love it because I really like I mean, you got to think about Reddit for a second. They rely on their moderators. They're a super important part of their ecosystem. And I think that allowing them to participate in the I. IPO and giving them skin in the game if they want to be there. I think it's super important. I think it's a really brilliant idea by them. When you think, though, of the history of these types of efforts, yeah, it hasn't, it, as I said, it, it's worked for some, it hasn't yeah. worked for others. It, the, that's true. That's true. But I think in, in Reddit's case, you know, there hasn't, we haven't seen a lot of IPOs, Andrew, where, where, where the whole kind of, their whole platform relies on those moderators and they essentially do it for free right so you got to throw back something I, I think it's i think it's more of a show of good faith in the case of reddit than it is kind of a, a pr move like it do might you be see though you know other the other question is does this become a meme stock and and how much of that is going to drive this also drive volatility are there people who are just going to buy this because they love reddit um, you know, we're seeing uh, uh, so for online brokerages like 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 Tasty and and most people in our space, we're seeing a lot of. We don't really participate in the IPOs, so we participate, you know, in the option option marketplace as right. soon as they go IPO and things like that. We're seeing what I think will be at least we're getting a lot of interest already in like one of the options going to be listed and how long will it take and I I think this is going to be a really interesting stock to play because. Um, investors like relatively inexpensive 
on social media stocks, and there's not too many out there right now. I mean, right. Other than Snapchat, I mean, what's cheap? Everything else is, you know, Meta is just right. too expensive. And and so I think this fits into that kind of, you know, very tradable, very investable price. So, Tom, I'm going to play devil's advocate. I got a lot of feedback when I mentioned this the other day. Okay, one go ahead. Of the, it seems like one of the great conundrums that a text-based social media platform faces, and I think this is true of Twitter as well, is that writing is hard. People find writing hard, trying to come up with clever things to say, interesting things to say. It, it's unclear whether that scales or can scale at the same rate that video or that photos do. And so whether we should be putting these type of companies even in the same category as some of the other social media platforms that rely largely, as I said, on images and video. Well, that's that's a great question. It also makes me a little sad when you say that, <laughs> you know, because we at, at, on the one hand, we don't want to just become, you know, a, a society of just short video clips as much as I, I love. TikTok. I, I agree with you, Tom. I'm just saying it's yeah. harder to find people who want to sit there and type. I, I, I agree. But but you know what? We still I, I mean, I think. When you look at Twitter, what Elon has done to Twitter and what's happened to Twitter since he since he bought that out, I think what that's done is that's it's essentially normalized price. It's taken the market down to a level where I do think it's investable now at the current valuations. Like, for example, Reddit might have been way overpriced at 15 billion. But at 5 billion or 7 billion, wherever it's going to go public, it's probably fair. Twitter was crazy overvalued at 44 billion but at 12 or 15 billion it's probably fair so i think that we have found kind of a resting uh, a, a resting area for you know for what you want to consider to be a writing social media site and i think that's okay and i, I also think that we need sites like this i think it's important from a trust right. factor